Suppose somebody invented a device that could make tobacco obsolete, a product that could give smokers the same nicotine kick as a cigarette, but without all the carcinogenic smoke, tar, and carbon monoxide. Also, without the repulsive smell. Wouldn't that product be just flying off the shelves? And wouldn't it be a public health miracle? Of course, I'm talking about electronic cigarettes. And while they're definitely being embraced by smokers all over the world, as the kinder, gentler alternatives to real cigarettes, they've become incredibly controversial within the public health community, as Joe Nassar detailed in a terrific piece for the New York Times this weekend. That's why tonight we're going off the tape to get a better sense of what's happening in this rapidly expanding industry with the help of Enjoy, a privately held company that controls 40% of the market for e-cigarettes in the United States. In just the past few weeks, this has become a major business. Oh, look, electronic, just in a very short time, I mean, a couple of years, this, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but this is a billion dollar market in the United States. This is a $3 billion market worldwide. And it's, it's been growing at 100% clip for the last three years. Warlord, which you probably know as the maker of Newports, has been getting a huge boost from their e-cigarette business. And Philip Morris plans to get in the game next year. In October, 40 state attorney generals uh, sent the FDA a letter pushing for electronic cigarettes to be treated like tobacco products for regulatory purposes. Last Wednesday, the New York City Council held a hearing on whether to ban them in bars, restaurants, and public spaces. And while most states don't currently target e-cigarettes with specific taxes, Minnesota slapped a 95% tax on them last year, which effectively makes electronic cigarettes more expensive than real ones. That, that can't be good policy, can it? Now 30 more are considering similar taxes. Which brings me back to Enjoy, the maker of Enjoy Kings. The most electronic cigarettes with the most traditional cigarette look and feel. I think this industry could eventually be a terrific place to invest down the road if the pure plays start coming public or get acquired by publicly traded companies. But that will only be the case if the regulators don't strangle this business in the cradle. So let's take a closer look with Craig Weiss, the president and CEO of Enjoy, to learn more about this rapidly growing industry in an off-the-tape segment. Mr. Weiss, welcome to Mad Money. Thanks so much for having me, Jim. I appreciate it. All right, Mr. Weiss, uh, I have to admit that the reason why i even been doing this segment is I was sitting next to my nephew, who happens to be my head writer, Cliff Mason, at Thanksgiving, and he pulls one of these out, and it doesn't smell, and it doesn't bother anyone at the table. It's a big family gathering. Um, and then I read Joe Nassar's piece, and I, uh, and I cannot believe that people, that the governments around the world don't recognize this is the way to get people off bad tobacco, not start smoking. I mean, why, is, why are they so obtuse? Well, you know, it's, it's an emerging category. Fortunately for us, uh, some of the countries, uh, like in Europe, are starting to see that this is, you know, electronic cigarettes are really part of the solution and, and not part of the problem. And, and I'm confident with the science as it, as it starts to get published more and more that, that, the, that America will come around as well. But the data is extraordinarily encouraging. When you start to see so many smokers uh, switching to electronic cigarettes, uh, it's very encouraging. Now, have, are there studies? I know there was a terrific uh, Boston University professor, a terrific quote in, uh, in the New York Times, in a syrup piece, basically saying, look, this is, uh, we know tobacco's bad. We know the anti-smoking movement is so opposed to the idea of smoking, though it's transcended the science. This is a scientific argument by Professor Michael Siegel that this is what we should be using. Why is that holding no sway with the FDA? I think part of the issue is, I think it is holding some sway with the FDA, but I think part of the problem is, for so long, they've been fighting uh, big tobacco, uh, and, and justifiably so. And so there's, there's a little bit of, uh, you know, they feel like they've been burned before by, by, you know, whether it was the filtered cigarette or other products that were held out to be better for you tobacco products. And so it's a little bit of a, of a maybe a disbelief or, or certainly an initial uh, apprehension or skepticism that th these products, especially ones like ours that look so much like cigarettes, could in fact be, uh, you know, part of the solution. And so, so th there's that skepticism. And, you know, I think, unfortunately, a lot of them fall into this uh, in, in Joe's piece as he talks about it, this, well, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck. But, of course, that's not science. Um, well, but it, wouldn't these, if they got widespread, wipe out the tobacco business? Who would want to smoke something that gives you cancer versus something that we know has to cut back on the number of cancers caused by tobacco smoke? Well, that, that's the really exciting thing about the, about the data that's emerging now. So, so the CDC recently had this data that showed that as electronic cigarettes gain in popularity, uh, tobacco cigarettes are declining. Uh, which, which wasn't what was happening uh, just a few years ago. But now in the last, you know, one or two years, as electronic cigarettes are becoming more and more popular, tobacco cigarettes are declining. I, I think that's something that public health should be ecstatic about. And certainly at Enjoy, our, our publicly stated mission is to obsolete cigarettes. So we're, you know, we're, th we're, we're quite thrilled about it. All right, Craig, what I would like to do if I back up my old hedge fund is I'd like to go long 
your company, Enjoy, and go short a not great tobacco company. When are you going to give us an opportunity to do that? Well, obviously, my, my sole motivation would be to get back on your show. So, so that's going to be the driving force in any decision that we make about going public. Um, we're, 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 you know, we're seriously considering all of our options, but we, we certainly love the fact that we're independent, uh, whether we're private or public. Uh, we want to maintain our independence, and uh, we're, we're, we're going to continue in our mission every single day to figure out how is it that we can make better and better products so that we can accomplish uh, you know, our mission and live in a world where, uh, you know, where my kids can say, you know, I don't understand. You used to light these things on fire, and you'd put them in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't even make any sense. So that, that's what we're aiming towards. Well, do you have the, uh, enough wherewithal to fight in New York City? ban? I mean, if that happens, can you stop that? Well, we're, we're, we're working to do that now. We've, we've testified in front of uh, the New York City Council, and, and, and we've done so uh, in every state or city that either tries to tax electronic cigarettes or do, you know, or promote some kind of an indoor smoking ban. What's really interesting is the leading anti-smoking uh, NGO in all of the UK, ASH, Action on Smoking and Health, these are, you know, the, 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 the paramount anti-tobacco uh, NGO in all of the UK. They're opposed to indoor smoking bans and, uh, for electronic cigarettes. And, and so in all of these cases, we keep saying the same thing. Where is the science? Where is the data? And, and the answer we keep getting is, well, we don't have the science and we don't have the data. And so we, we always ask, ourselves, you know, ask the, the same question. Is it really responsible for government policymakers to be making regulations when they say, we don't have all of the information, but we're going to regulate. I, I just don't think that's the appropriate way for, for our government to behave. Well, Craig, I totally agree. I hope that you actually do come public. And I think as a branding, a branding exercise, we'd also get people off of tobacco just listening to you. Craig Weiss, thank you so much. Enjoy. Great to have you, sir. Thanks so much, Jim. Take care. Can I say, for those of us who have family members who smoke, it's a pretty darn good choice. Stay with me at one.